you how easy it is to actually download a Polkadoodles file, save it to your computer and then actually manipulate it using a completely free program um, that you can find online. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm on the Polkadoodles website and I actually have an idea in mind of what I want to actually um, create. I'm going to actually recreate, I've just seen a really great um, card uh, that I want to post on social media to show you and it's using this really cute little download, this Mr Socks the Fox. So we're just going to add this to cart, so this is the whole process from buying it, so we're going to proceed to check out. What happens then is that I'll actually receive an email and in that email there'll be a download link for me. If you actually have created an account and you don't receive that email, because that email will go to whatever the payment address was that you used on your account. So if you log in and pay with PayPal, very often it'll go to the PayPal account and you might not realise if you're speeding through the order like I just have. So if you don't get the download link, you need to log back into your account for it. Or you can just contact us. But it's, you know, if we're not around, we're in the UK. So if you're in the US or somewhere else and it's the middle of the night here, you know, it just means that it's going to take a while for us to get back to you the next day. So it's always best to log into your account and download that way. So I'm just going to, I can't sign in now because I've not done this. So let's go and find the downloads and find the links. Information from the Polkadoodle store. As I said, make sure it goes to the correct email address. Um, and if you have any problems with that, just contact us. Um, here's a little download link here, you can see. So all you need to do is you just click on that. I'm gonna actually open that just with Google because I've got that open here. And it takes me straight into this download and this is your files. Now in this bundle I've even included a couple of um, card examples that you can follow there for you and you can see how the papers are as well. So you're going to download this, so um, this is quite a big file, it's got quite a few things in it, so it's a little bundle. So all you do is you click the bundle and it's going to go straight into your downloads and we're going to download that one. And it's going down to my screen here so I can just double click this and here it is. Now I'm actually working here on a Mac. That doesn't really matter but um, on yours you'll just download the zip probably here. And then what you need to do if you're on a PC is you need to actually extract the zip. So how you usually do that is you just double click it and it'll unload. It'll um uncompress rather into one into a folder in your Windows Explorer. Um, it's really important when you use your zip that basically you it'll come up with an option to extract all files. You must use that option, extract all files. If you don't do that, it won't it'll look like you've got things missing or the files won't work correctly. On my Mac, it automatically does that for me. So here I am, I'm in my bundle, and this is everything that you're getting in the bundle. You can see here you've got a little folder that's got your SVGs and DXFs in, and here's your papers and all your different options. So that's super easy, anyone can do that. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, it, you can be an absolute beginner with a PC, but that's all you need to do. Now, here's the exciting bit. So I really want to show you how you can then create a really cute card and manipulate these images. So let's see how we can do that. What we can do now is actually um, manipulate these and print them. So I've actually downloaded here um, or just included this really cute card that Jane made from the design team and I love this so much and I want what I want to do is show you how you can create this because you've only actually got one fox in the digistamp but it's really easy to combine 
um, digi stamps together and these extra elements. I mean, she's cut some of the, cut these hearts out, but obviously, as you can see, the two digits. This is the original one, and then what she's done is merged another one and scaled it down. So we've got a daddy or mummy fox along with their little baby, which is so cute. So I want to show you how to do this, and what I'm going to do is actually show you this really great app which is called Canva. Now Canva, um, you can actually get a free trial on it for 30 days and even if you sign up after that it's actually really cheap to use and you just pay for it monthly so um, you know it's a really, it's, it's a fantastic app. It's like having Photoshop or lots of other of the really expensive paid for apps that are out there but because it's monthly you can cancel it at any point you want and you've not wasted a lot of money so it's worth giving it a try because in that 30 days you should know if it's worth it for you or not but also a little hack I shouldn't tell you this but all you need to do is every 30 minutes if you use a dummy email address you could sign up for a new trial every 30 days and I'm not telling you to do that, but, you know, you could just get a Gmail or a Yahoo address or whatever and do that. So that's what I've done. I'm on a free plan here. So this is my 30 day trial. And you just basically you go to Canva.com and you, you just go there. Now, the great thing about Canva is that it uses loads and loads of different templates for you. So you can do all sorts of different things in here, way more than I'm going to show you what to do. But what we're going to do initially is we're going to um, go to, I just clicked there on A4. So I, I'm actually going to go to a document because I want to create a document that we're going to print. Um, so it, you can see how quick it is to use. I'm on a slow internet connection here, so it doesn't take any, you don't have to download anything. This is just online and it's perfectly safe. And what I love about Canva is it gives you lots of templates that you can use, but it's so easy as well. And it gives you all these little hints and tips and things as well. So, you know, if you get stuck, there's so much help. There's lots of help up at the top. It, it, it's just intuitive. So, if you look down the side here, you can see if we just click on this, look, we've got a background here. Now, this little fox, you know, we've got backing papers in here anyway, but you've got this one if you wanted to use it. So, and then there's all sorts of different elements here as well. Look, we can actually add some uh, nice watercolour marks here, which are just fab. And as you upload things, because you can add your own things into here, look, there's more here. So you just click on it and it just appears. And you just use it, drag your mouse around, drag it around, and look, you can start to create all this stuff. Now this one, you can see there, it just comes up with a little trash can if you want to get rid of it. I like this one. This one's quite nice. Now, what I'm going to do is down the side here, you can see there's an uploads thing here. So we can actually now add our files. So all we've got to do, you can either drag it into here or you can click upload. So all I'm going to do, let's get back in paper. So I really love the, uh, well, I love all of these. Let's have a look. I don't know, so I'm just going to drag them all together. And this is what I like. You can drag them all in there at the same time. And then I'm going to add a little fox as well in there. So what you can actually do now is you can add your backing papers onto here. So look, can you see what actually happened there? Because I had that square, it's actually thinking that I want it in the square. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. And I'm going to actually add that onto my page here. How pretty is that? So look, I can just actually extend that. And then if you want to, if you right click and you can actually tell it to go to the back because I'll send it backwards because we wanted this in front of it. OK, so I'm, I'm kind of making like a little scene that I can cut out. So let's. I'm thinking of my cards, so this is kind of going to be, this is half a page. So I don't want that to quite that big, maybe. 
And what I really want is I want something white behind it. So I'm going to go to draw and I'm going to change my colour. And it actually picks up the colours that are in your document. And then what I want to do is, is that a shape in there? No, it's not. How do I draw something? Oh, elements, look. I want to draw a shape. So I'm going to grab a square. And it's automatically coloured that to actually match all the other colours of what I'm using. But if I want to change this colour, you just literally go up here, look. And you can change that. Or you can make it whiter if you want. Let's go with a nice white. And you can add borders and all sorts. So let's come, we want this, so we're going to bring this forward to here. Look how easy it is though. It's so simple to use guys. It's absolutely wonderful. It's such a great app. So where did my things go? I'm going to go to uploads and the there look. So I want my little foxy. Oops. Now, I don't want him to go into the box as such. And what I'm going to do is, it's just cropped him a little bit, look. And you're just basically going to drag him around. And just make sure you haven't got any any bit. I'm going to just delete that because that was my fault. I didn't want it. I was, just make sure that you're not clicked on anything. On on the shape because it thinks that you want, it, want to put it in the shape. Okay, so it's easier to just get rid of that than to try and resize it. So now look, he's at the front. And then look, let's go, let's have a look at Jane's card and let's see what Jane actually created. So I want to create something similar. Now I bet if I looked around, I could even find a craft card here, some craft card that she's used here. So we've got our little fox there. And then you see this little button here that duplicates it. So I end up with two. And then I can actually scroll that down and if I right click, um, let me see, okay, oh look up here, look, flip, so let's flip it, so you could flip it upside down or horizontal, so we're just going to flip it like that, we're going to add him there, now I did see some hearts and things somewhere, let me see, there's so much in here. Oh look, you can, there's all these frames and grid, there's all sorts of different things here. Um, lots of like little graphics and stuff that you can use. Little tabs and things if you're a scrapbooker or you want something like that. There's things with sentiments on here. Tags, there's all sorts of things. Little flowers and stuff. Right here look, we've got a flower. Oh, that's pretty. Look how lovely that is. That's gorgeous. So, you know, you could add a little flower up there if you wanted to. Or you could, you know, just layer this up because you're going to cut this. So you could layer it up and, um, you know, add other things that you're going to use alongside to embellish. So, you know, I would put these on and then I would cut these out and actually make my card. And put a few on and you can resize them all. Look, here's some hearts. Oh, no, that's a... I don't know if that, oh no, that, that's okay. Look, we've got perfect, look, we've got these lovely hearts. Look how, oops, look how lovely these are here. So look, if we look at Jane's card, look, you can almost recreate it for free in Canva without barely doing it. How quick is this? You know, it's just such a great app to use. Now, the other thing I've got to tell you as well is that there is, because I use this all the time, I do have a code that you can use and it'll give you a discount. Um, so um, I'll post that with this video. But, oh look, these are gorgeous. Look at this. This is perfect. Oh, I really like that. So look, this one, look, you can swivel that around. If you wanted to make it a little bit more autumn you could do that duplicate it you see I get carried away I want to flip that again and then you know so you could actually make like a little wreath and maybe put the hearts up here let's reduce those down a little bit but you can see how much you can play around with it so this is canva.com 
completely free when you're on a trial and as I say if you don't want to pay for it just use a different email address and keep signing up that's what you know I know I shouldn't tell you but I know that lots and lots of people do that um, so that's how to manipulate your digits and then all you need to do when you've done that is you then just if you just go back to the design screen and I think you go back to home let me see where's it gone it'll come down to here I think is this it there we go so now I think let me see where do we go where's the print thing here we go look so save make a copy you can download it so you can actually save it as well the um where are we there's a thing to share oh that's it you just click share it confuses me because it says share but basically now here you can just do all these different things so let's go share we want to print i would just download this so let's just go to download Save it at a good resolution. Whoops, oh, it's letting you, it wants you to do that because it's trying to get you to save up. And then you could do it as a JPEG or a PNG. I would save it as a PNG, it prints better. Download it. It's going to download, and then you can just, there you go, it's asking to say, let's save it, Fox card. And now if I just close this down, here it is, look, and I've got it there. And then I can just go to print from there and it'll just print that out for me. So I hope that really helps you. I hope it takes the mystery out of how to manipulate your images. You can see how easy it is. Look, because our image is a PNG and not JPEG, you can actually layer these. And this is why we don't give you a JPEG. If you had a JPEG, you'd have to remove all the white background from behind these foxes. So, you know, really easy. And if you like colouring and you don't want a pre-coloured image, just replace those with the um, Digistamp. So, you know, you can do it exactly the same way with your Digi. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. And look, you've got your Digi in there as well. So you can actually create your own back coloured background so you don't have to mess around with the background, but you can actually colour in your little fox yourself. So I hope that helps you. If you've got any questions, just ask us on social media. We're happy to help you to get the most out of your Digi stamps and your printables. And we hope to bring you another tutorial really soon. Thanks for shopping with us. Bye.